Good morning, welcome to day 16 of Vlogmas. I actually can't believe it. Um, I keep saying that every day now, but it, it's getting into those high numbers. I was out last night, as you know, if you watched yesterday's vlog. Um, so there's no rest this morning. I have to get up and edit my vlog, which I did. And now I'm gonna go, I'm going to um, Rosie's house for Carrie's birthday. He's three today, today I think it's his birthday, or yesterday. Pretty sure it's today. So um, they got a bouncing castle and he's having a little party out there. So I'm so excited to see him. So I'm just going to get something to eat and then I'm gonna head straight out there. So yeah. I actually decided that today I'm going to do a little Q&A throughout the day as well just because I have kind of a busy day so and I want there to be a point to every video I don't want to be just recording me running around all day you know so um, yeah it should be interesting I've just sat into the car to go and I got my first question so I said I may as well answer it so the first question is one that I get a lot um, what course did you do in college and what job did you have before you decided to go blogging full time so um, I did communications in DCU, um, it was very like media focused and in, my, in our, the second year you get to pick either radio, photography or video and I went with photography um, and it was just you know a way that you got to focus on something you were really interested in. Um, it was three years, it, the workload wasn't crazy, you know it was, it was nice, I loved it, I wouldn't you know, I wouldn't take it back for the world. I did a master's afterwards just because I wasn't sure what I wanted to kind of do. And I did my master's in marketing in DIT. Um, that was really tough, but I learned loads. And from that, I went on and I got a place on a graduate program with Tourism Ireland. A lot of people ask me about that. Um, I got that through IBEC. IBEC is like a recruitment company. And um, like I don't know if that's exactly what they are, but I know that they do some recruiting. And they do a good few graduate programs and you can apply on their website and I think they, I'm actually not sure when they started interviewing, but for me it was, I applied in February, interviewed in July, and started in September. So my first, so it was a two year program, my first year was in New York, and my second year was in Dublin. Um, and it was just unreal, I loved it. I got to do a, a postgrad degree while I was doing it. It was in international business development. Um, and I, did, I didn't want to do another degree, but I was like, sure, look, I'll just have to, it's part of the program. And now it's like unreal, I have another thing on my CV and it was, it was kind of easier because everything I was doing in that course was like, you know, I could apply it to my work. And um, I just loved the New York office, I absolutely loved it. It was the best place in the world to start, you know, my career. And I got to travel around with them. I was in Vegas within a month of being over there at a, a, a trade show. Um, I was in Philadelphia, Washington DC a couple of times, uh, Pittsburgh. It was just honestly just the coolest experience. And that's where I met my best friend Derla. She worked in Tourism Ireland as well. And she started on the graduate program a year before me. So yeah, I have a special place in my heart for Tourism Ireland. I love it. So I'm just out of Rosie's and it was such a nice little birthday party for Harry. He is the cutest little thing. Oh, he's just so fun and he's got a, such a nice personality. It's like a little adult <laughs> but um, I said I'd answer another question just while I'm sitting here in the car so the next one is how did you get into modeling and blogging um, modeling so I modeled from the age of 17 until 22 until I, right before I moved to New York um, and I had kind of thought I would do more when I came back but I just kind of got really busy with blogging them when I came back so that's kind of where my focus has been but I was on a night out um, in sixth year, it was like the, the summer of sixth year and one of the girls used to mod with Celia was kind of scouting people for Miss Limerick so I did that but I think you have to be 18 to, to, to be put forward, I'm not sure but I did it anyway and it wasn't really for me, I found it a little bit awkward you know like having to talk and introduce yourself and walk around, I'd never done anything like that before but it led to um, going to Sorry, people are walking by the car. It led to, um, sorry, I'm totally distracted. It led to me going to an open call with Celia Homini to model. And at first I was like, I don't even know if I want to go. Like, uh, I was like not, kind of self-conscious and I had, you know, I wasn't very confident or anything. And I went anyway and I started. And to be honest, to start off with, I just, I didn't like it. I was like, oh my God, it was so nerve wracking. And everyone was, like I just looked at everyone else and I was like oh my god I'm not good enough you know but as time went on I made friends and I got more confident and it was a really nice job to have like especially because I'm so interested in fashion so I got to meet some really cool people and work on some really cool things that have opened doors for me 
you know, that I'm still using now. So that's how I got into it. And blogging, um, how did I get into blogging? This is another kind of long and answer, sorry. So I got into blogging, um, I started my first one in 2011, but I was too embarrassed so I deleted it. Um, and then I started my second one in 2014 during my masters and I said I'm going to keep it up. It was something I was always interested in. I loved it. Um, I loved following other blogs and I love fashion and writing and taking photos and documenting all of that. So it's, you know, it's just very natural for me to do it. So I started it in 2014 and when I was over in New York working, um, I kind of got stuck into it and did it full time because I missed having that fashion aspect in my work, you know. So... It was just kind of a creative place where I could go and do my fashion and do other things, travel and stuff. And yeah, I just kept going at it. I did it um, consistently since then, since about March 2015. That's when I was really doing it um, 110%. So yeah, it's almost three years now, which is mad. But I, I still love it just as much as I did the first time, you know, and that's why I'm still going at it. Okay, I'm just home and I'm gonna do more questions. Cooper is here chilling beside me. Um, one of the questions was, hey Lou, what are your top fave restaurants and places in Dublin? So my top three restaurants would probably be, for lunch I love Pepper Pot. Uh, it's a good people watching spot and they do really nice bagels and they do nice kind of like breakfasty brunchy food uh, and nice salads too. And I like Cleaver East, which is in Temple Bar. They do really good dinners and a really good brunch. And there's a really nice vibe in there too. And I like Roberta's as well. They do pizza and they do kind of full dinners so like chicken and pork and that kind of thing. And they do lovely drinks as well. And it's a really nice atmosphere in there as well. And the decor is really nice. And that's in Temple Bar as well, actually. So they're my top three. Okay, I just made a cup of tea. Um, and I'm gonna continue with the questions. So the next one is for your Q&A, what camera do you use for your blog? What apps do you use for editing photos? Okay, so for my blog photos if I'm doing like proper ones I'll use my Olympus Pen EPL7 um, and I have two lenses I have the regular lens that comes with it and I have the 45 lens um, and for most of my photos I just use my phone if I'm taking them myself I just use my phone and for my vlogs sorry I'm using the Canon G7X and the apps I use I have a few and I kind of play around with them um, I use Snapseed a lot I use Lightroom Lightroom's really good um, what else do I use? Facetune sometimes. Um, what other ones are there that I use? I use Planly to kind of plan my my photos. I've gotten a little bit less uh, picky about that, but I still use them sometimes. And see, now the tea isn't great because I can't just pick up my phone <laughs> to put it down. Next question. What's my best hangover cure? Um, not mixing your drinks in general. I don't know, sometimes for me it's just hit and miss. What did I say the other day? Being under the age of, tw of 25 is the best hangover cure. Next one. Hey, could you talk about your time in New York, please? How long were you there? Were you working there? What visa did you have? I spoke about that a little bit earlier. I was there for a year. Um, I did my J1 over there as well. And I spent two summers before that as well. So three summers in one year. Because um, I have family in Connecticut. I was working in Tourism Ireland on a graduate role. I was on the trainee visa. Um, I did not want to leave after the year, I absolutely loved it and I was planning on going straight back but then I came home and matured and settled in and I really like Ireland now. It took me a while just to kind of get used to it but no I love it but I probably would go back to New York again just because I loved it so much. Um, I was the brokest I've ever been when I was living in New York <laughs> because it's so expensive and a graduate role, a graduate um, salary isn't great so I just remember like absolutely during the week saving every penny I could oh I didn't have money to buy a coffee and then at the weekends like you'd spend so much money or like myself and Derek would book a trip and then we'd be like literally saving for the next six weeks but it didn't stop like you know it didn't stop me from having any fun I still did I still managed to have a great time so this is a weird one if snow could fall any flavor what would you choose just normal. If we could get any snow at all, that would be, that would be good. Um, next one. How did you get started on Instagram, and how long did it take for your, for you to grow your followers? Um, I started on Instagram years ago, when everyone else did. You know, I just did, took pictures of random things like at the start. Um, 
thought it was a private app for a while before I realized it was public. And my followers, I don't know, it's, it's just been as long as I've been doing my vlog and it's just been totally gradual the whole time. Okay, I just got another question in there and it was, how do you, hang on, let me get it. How do you deal with negativity and stay positive? So for that one, uh, it's kind of a tricky one because I feel like I spoke about this the other day on my Snapchat. Um, I just feel like there's been a lot more negativity online lately or I've experienced a little bit more of it and seen a little bit more of it. And I just don't like seeing it. I just think that there, you know, there should be the same rules online as there would be offline. And I just try and ignore negative comments and focus on the positive ones. I try and surround myself with positive people and um, people who will encourage me and tell me to ignore it and that kind of thing. Hi, I'm sure you're probably bored to death of watching me get ready <laughs> for nights out. And I'm actually kind of getting bored of getting ready. I normally love getting ready. But I'm trying to think of different things I could do with my hair and different outfits I'm going to wear in different ways I can do my makeup just to keep it interesting. But I thought I would go through um, the different brushes that I use for my makeup on here. I did it recently on my Snapchat, but I know it's something that can be very confusing for people who aren't makeup experts. So, um, and I definitely think it's something I've gotten better at understanding and I feel like I have all the brushes I need at the moment. So I'll just run through them very quickly and hopefully it will help. So, um... The first brush I use is this Cara, just a plain foundation brush. You can get them pretty much anywhere. You can get them in any pharmacy. This, this is a Cara Pharmacy brand and it's CO3, but you can get um, you can get really good blank canvas ones, Real Techniques do some good ones. So yeah, I love these. Uh, the next brush then I use when I'm doing makeup is a concealer brush and this made such a difference to my makeup. I used to just apply it by my with my fingers or use my foundation brush to rub it in but it's so small it just fits right in there. So this is a Sephora brush and it's actually for a concealer so I reckon if you go into Boots um, or into MAC or somewhere they will have one you know I would probably call it a concealer brush but what I find is see this eyeshadow brush which I'm going to show you in a minute you could use this as a concealer brush and um, they just look different because obviously the concealer is liquid and all the eyeshadows I use are powder but they'd be the same you know so it's the same thing and that, like a lot of brushes like that can cross over as long as it looks like it will do the job probably will and then next I use my beauty blender just to kind of get all the excess foundation and concealer off before I do my contour contouring so I use the I showed you this palette already I love it I've actually been using it more and more and I have two brushes for that I use this foundation brush from Bare Minerals. It's kind of just really thick. It's good for the contour to get like those thick lines. So that's really good. And then I just use another different type of a foundation brush for the illuminator part. And I don't know if it's ideal, but for me, like I kind of like to put a lot of the illuminator on and I, I like it to spread and then I blend it afterwards again with the beauty blender. So there, that's those. Then next, just a plain powder brush. This one is from Be Bold. Um, I use that to kind of just mash up my makeup a little bit because like, my makeup tends to go very oily. And then next we are on to the, this is an angled brush. That's what I use for bronzer is an angle just to get the nice kind of angle, I guess, the good contour. So you definitely need an angled brush for um, bronzer. I used to have one that was a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, the main brushes, I, like I mean I'm not a brush expert at all, but like I mean I don't know how much it obviously depends on how much you want to spend I know Mac do really nice sets and um Real Techniques do really good ones in boots and another one I've heard of is Morphe M-O-P-H-E-E -E. I'll see if I can find it online I've heard those are really good and reasonable priced as well reasonably priced as well okay so next for highlighter I got this in number seven um and it's got an angle brush on one side which I use for the highlighter and then on this side, it's just a normal kind of a blusher brush. So I use that for my blush. So it's handy to have the two on the one as well. And then next for my eyeshadows, which for a long time, I just used one brush for everything, which isn't ideal. So I use this for the base of the eye and then to get the kind of all over color. Then I use this in, no, sorry. I use this in the crease, all in the crease. I use this kind of, I don't know if you can see. But it's kind of just a little bit thicker. Um, so I put that in the crease. And then this one is a blending brush. And that's the... What is it? I can't see it. I think it's the 17 brush from MAC. Uh, it's a really good eyeshadow blending brush. 
Um, this one, where did I get? I don't even know where I get these brushes, but a flat one, one for the crease of your eye, and a blending brush. That's basically all you need. And I will list all of the brushes below just so you can kind of know what you're going out to find. Because I know when you go looking for brushes, you're like, they have all these brushes, but you don't know what any of them are for. So hopefully that will help. And then that's basically it. You can get some for eyeliner, but I just use um, my Tom Ford eye defining pen. That kind of comes with a brush on it. Like a paint brush on one side. So I don't need a brush. But that's, they're all the brushes I use now. And I just have found my makeup has looked a lot better since I've been using all the different brushes. But if you think I'm missing any, let me know and I will try and add to my collection. So yeah, that's it. I hope you found it useful. Okay, I'm just waiting for my lashes to dry and another, I just saw another question there. It says, um, hi Louise, where did your love for fashion come from and do you have any style icons? Um, yeah, I suppose my love for fashion came from being given the freedom to kind of pick my outfits growing up. My mom always used to try and match me and my sisters and so she, she used to love it like and she used to dress, the, dress us up really nice and my mom actually used to be a dress designer so you know, she she every now and again would make us dresses that like uh, our communion dress was made by her and my sister's Deb dress was made by her and my mom made her own wedding dress and stuff like that. So I suppose in that way, like, and like even now, like my mom is still really into fashion. So maybe that's where it, where it came from. Um, yeah, we used to, me and my sister used to, used to have so much fun just like putting outfits together and playing dress up and all that kind of stuff. So I'm still doing the same thing. I'm just doing it in adult form, I suppose. <laughs> And style icons, um, I, I don't know really, like I suppose I just look at what people are wearing now, so like if you go on the Daily Mail, who's always on there, like Gigi Hadid, um, Olivia Palermo, these kind of people, I, I look to fashion bloggers a lot as well, um, but yeah, I, I don't really, I don't have anyone in particular that comes to mind, actually Blake Lively has a really nice style, but do you know what I do actually sometimes, rather than looking up like celebrities or certain people, if you ever find a good stylist, like I was looking at the Kardashian stylist before on Instagram, Monica Rose, which I don't think she has anymore, but like the outfits she would put together, she does them, she still styles for um, Chrissy Teigen, Kaya Ber Gerber, you know, Cindy Crawford's daughter, a couple like of those people. And I like they're way ahead of the trends and they're the people who make celebs and everyone look and dress as well as they do. So if I was ever stuck for ideas, I'd probably go somewhere like that. Um, so yeah. Okay, I'm all ready. I curled my hair using the InStyler, so it's a different kind of a curl. And I'm wearing the green velvet misguided dress. I put on some of the Golden Goddess oil from Coco Brown as well, which I haven't worn in ages. I forgot how much I liked it. And I'm just wearing black boots. But I am going to leave the vlog here tonight. I'm not gonna bring you out with me because <laughs> I'm actually going over to see my college friends who I haven't seen properly in ages. So looking forward to a catch up and we are going to karaoke later and I wouldn't put you through it. I honestly wouldn't. <laughs>